Okay. So hey Isaac. Hey Trent, how hey. are you? Good, very good. I'm uh, I'm excited today to teach you a few things about chi running. Yeah, you were good. So what's that? It's a uh, it's a it's an alignment and a relaxation uh, form of running. Okay. So basically, what we're trying to do is create the conditions for chi and your life force and your in your center to flow forward as you run. Okay. So um, the two central principles are injury prevention and uh, an energy efficiency okay so basically if you run they kind of go hand in hand they're like two sides of the same coin so if you have energy efficiency you're going to have less wasted energy and you're going to be able to uh, be less uh, less injured okay now the concept is of needle and cotton Okay, so basically the idea is that you're centered from uh, a strong uh, gathered center, which we call our needle, which is very strong from our base of support. And then we have the cotton, which is the loose part around us, which our arms and our legs relax. Okay? As we do chi running, we become very uh, centered and it becomes a lifelong practice. Okay, so Two forces that you want to think about while chi running is one of them you can think about is gravity. Okay, so we want to have gravity working for us and not against us. When we run in chi running, we are working on relaxation. So we're trying to let the force to cooperate with the force of gravity. Okay, and that we do that by leaning forward. By leaning forward, I fall forward. I let gravity propel me forward. Okay. Another force that we have is the force of the oncoming road. Okay, so if you're running a 10 minute mile or an eight minute mile, you have a 10 minute mile or an eight minute mile coming at you. Okay, so we don't want to take a force and land with force. Okay, or, or if you think if someone's going to punch you, you don't want to punch right back at them. It's going to hurt. Yeah. Same thing if you reach out your foot in front of you, which often most people, a lot of people do in conventional running. And so, what we want to do with that is to land more underneath our body and to absorb that energy and to kind of let that cycle flow behind us. Okay? So there are two types of alignment. So when with the principle of the needle and cotton, there comes two principles of alignment or two yeah, well two types of alignment. One of them is alignment with the force of gravity. Okay? So that means that as we are aligned, that we're not sticking our hips out. We want to have shoulders, hips, and ankles all lined up with each other to create a strong column. Okay? And that's with stri standing straight up and down. With leaning, then we cooperate that. We keep that forward lean. And that, that's the way we are nice and aligned with the force of gravity. Okay? And that's uh, gravitational alignment. The other one is directional alignment. Directional alignment is you want to have as many body parts moving in the direction you're going. Okay. That makes sense. So if I'm going forward, I want everything to be going that direction. So if my foot, for example, is pointing off to the side, then that's going to be a conflict of interest in, in your body. Because your foot's wanting to go this way, and your body's trying to go this way. What will happen with that is that your foot will have, you will have more chances of getting Injuries, so Achilles, uh, heel spurs, you can have shin splints, medial knee tears, all those kind of things. We don't want those. Um, also hip bursitis, IT band, all these types of things can happen when we run away from the alignment of our body. Another one is if we swing our si side to side, okay, so if we're swinging side to side or if we're going too up or down, okay, so if we use a lot of mu muscle energy to go in the direction opposite where we're going, then it's going to be uh, a loss of energy. And like we said, we talked about energy efficiency. And like I said, energy efficiency relates to being less injured. And so basically, we want to think about gradual progress with all of this. Okay, so this is a very central purpose in chi running that we want to think about gradual progress. Meaning, you're not going to get it all right now. You know, you, you'll get some concepts, it'll start to be kind of a beginning part for you, but don't just let it settle into your body. 
that we got to try to get a learning point and have it as a base for the next part that we learn, and then we learn in layers, and then it, we can like, learn over time. Okay, so gradual progress is, is very important. You'll probably hear me say that a lot, so if you're not completely aligned, we'll get you working on those things. Okay, okay? and then another thing is this becomes kind of part of like a lifelong uh, practice. So it's not just a thing that just goes to running. You will realize it goes to even other parts of your life. You can apply a lot of these things all day long where you can kind of work on relaxing and, and aligning yourself, for example, while you're sitting in a chair or while you're, while you're walking down the street, okay, or driving in your car, okay? So that way you can kind of feel the energy uh, a little bit more. And uh, it becomes a part where you're aligned and relaxed. And that's the part of needle and cotton that I want you to remember today. Okay. The first lesson that we'll learn, or we'll, we'll kind of go through these basics, are number one is posture. Okay, posture is just aligning yourself nice and tall, and, and to create a, a column that you can work from, working on your needle. The second one is ankle lift and chi walking. So we're trying to lift from our ankles. Okay, so we're just trying to work from our center muscles to lift up our feet instead of pushing off our feet. Okay, because pushing off our feet will become uh, an energy waste. We're using too much energy in our legs versus our core muscles. Okay, so we'll say that a lot. Core muscle strength is very important and, and working from our center. The other one is leaning. Okay, and leaning is not like this, but leaning from your ankles so you're falling forward. Okay, and then the last one is arm swing. Okay, so we'll work on arm swing and that will be swinging your arms behind you okay. versus in front talk about all these things in a little bit and then then we'll go out for a little run okay you ready yeah okay great